Uh, forget OJ, the Charles Manson case. The real trial of the century took place a lot closer than you think. Fort Worth's Cullen Davis was once one of the richest men in America in one of the most high profile marriages in Texas. You know she's the only one. They married in 1968. Cullen Davis at the pinnacle of Fort Worth's social set. Wife Priscilla, pretentious, a penchant for bending the rules of polite society. With her came three children, the youngest, Andrea, and Jack from her second marriage, Dee from her first. Jackie, Andrea, and myself, we, we grew up together. And we didn't even think of ourselves as half until we read it in the paper. Big sister, little sister relationships can be trying at times. But Dee calls Andrea easy to love, mad about animals. She was just an animal magnet and just the sweetest, absolute sweetest kid. But by 1976, Cullen and Priscilla were living under separate roofs with other people. On August 2nd, the judge in their divorce case dealt Cullen a financial setback. Well, I don't remember the details, only the bottom line, he increased my uh, wife's um, monthly payments somewhat. Up from $3,500 to $5,000 a month, plus more than $50,000 for her legal expenses and other bills. That night, a man wearing a wig dressed in black entered Priscilla's mansion home, shot and killed her boyfriend, Stan Farr. Daughter Andrea wounded Priscilla and a family friend. Dee, at a friend's house that night, found a still distraught Priscilla in the emergency room, whispering a warning. She said, Dee, Cullen shot me. I said, okay, I understand, I understand. Don't get him. But Cullen insisted he'd been at the movies that night alone, saw Bad News Bears, ended the night at girlfriend Karen Masters, not the mansion. Wasn't me. You've never had a wig? No. Never had any involvement, any kind of plot, plan? No. no. You're absolutely 100% not guilty of this. That's absolutely 100% right. Prosecutors, though, believe they had their man. At noon today... Publicity moved the trial for the murder of Andrea to Amarillo. Cullen's lead attorney, Houston's Richard Racehorse Haynes, went after Priscilla. Allegations of drug use, wild sex parties. They were so consumed with my mother's appearance her bad girl image. Hey, guess what? It wasn't about her. It was about a 12-year-old child that was murdered. But the jury found Colin Davis not guilty. I can't tell you how good it feels because I've been in there 15 months fighting this thing. Looks like I'm out of a job. I guess I gotta go to work. He wouldn't be out of work for long. A year later, Haynes was back in court defending Colin again. Okay. It's undercover film. Prosecutors claim that's Colin Davis in short sleeves, secretly paying a man $25,000 for a photograph of the murdered judge in his divorce case, promising to pay more to have Priscilla and others killed. I gotta have an alibi ready for art. Colin claimed he was there helping the FBI after a friend of Priscilla's approached him with the plot. Unbeknownst to Cullen, it was all staged, the judge posing for the photo. To this day, despite the videotape, despite the $25,000 he gave, Cullen Davis insists he was set up. So what was the $25,000 for? I don't remember. That was, uh, that's what I say, uh, there was something about the $25,000, but uh, I, don't, I don't remember how that came into play. At the trial in Houston, they conceded Cullen was on the videotape, but assisting investigators. The jury listened to those tapes real closely, and they said, wait a minute, Cullen's telling the truth here. Well, some of the jury. Deadlocked eight to four to convict, the judge declared a mistrial. But for Cullen Davis, the ruling was clear. He was and is innocent. I personally have forgiven everybody. A born-again Christian now, forgiveness has taken on new meaning for Colin Davis. All the people who've accused you falsely, you, you've forgiven them. Everybody. No exception. And some of them have forgiven him. Others, not quite. You have to 
acknowledge and admit you're wrong to ask for that forgiveness. Dee Davis and Cullen Davis have had no conversation about forgiveness or anything else. And so far, I haven't heard him claim any kind of responsibility for anything. Cullen Davis insists it's not about any guilt, but submission to being born again. Dee Davis gets that, but while Cullen Davis may be at peace for her, the questions linger. Who killed my sister then? If Cullen Davis didn't do it, then who did it? You know, for years, a report has circulated that the night of the mansion murders, Brad News Bears was not playing at the theater where Cullen Davis insists he saw it. Well, if true, that was never brought up in the criminal trials. Priscilla Davis died of cancer in 2001. And just a few weeks ago, Cullen Davis's wife, Karen, quietly passed away. To this day, Cullen Davis insists he is innocent.